Japan is pretty much reliant nearly completely on external countries for lithium ion batteries. I mean, it gets its cobalt, its manganese and other materials for its battery packs from places that are not located anywhere near Japan, but that's about to change. Japan, it appears, has discovered an absolute mother load of materials. I'm talking decades worth of metals that go into EV batteries, which are worth billions and billions of dollars. This is one of the most incredible discoveries that I've ever seen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Honestly, this kind of stuff does excite me. I, I hear this stuff and I think, wow, how cool is that to find that? Here's the thing. These nodules, you don't even need to mine them. I mean, generally when you discover some new materials, right, you think, well, how much is it going to cost to extract them? That's a big part of the problem. Like a lot of the minerals that exist in the world, the only reason they're still in the ground is because they're too hard or too expensive to remove. But that's not the case here. In the electric vehicle industry, the global car industry, um, whoever has access to the minerals involved in battery production holds a lot of power. The US government are particularly focused on this issue, and that's why they're taxing minerals going into EV batteries, not just the batteries, but also the, where the minerals come from. Keep that in mind, it's very important. Japan, therefore, is very excited now that it has found enough supply of cobalt for 75 years, um, probably about 20 years supply of nickel, and maybe about 50 years supply of manganese. In my opinion, the most valuable product they've found is the manganese. Now, yes, cobalt and nickel, are they're used in battery packs worldwide. Around 50% of batteries made today use cobalt and nickel. I think that'll change though. I honestly think people are gonna to pivot to using lithium ion phosphate batteries that are doped with manganese. They can be very high energy density and last a lot longer than batteries that use cobalt and nickel. But anyhow, that's besides the point because the point is cobalt, nickel, and manganese have been discovered in massive quantities. There is apparently 230 million tons of manganese deposits found in the form of nodules, basically on the seabed. And they are fist-sized nodules, so they're about this big. They contain around 20% manganese, 1% cobalt, and 1% nickel. Manganese, cobalt, and nickel are obviously very important in lithium ion batteries today. The researchers say that the deposits are spread across an area of around 10,000 square kilometers containing 610,000 tons of cobalt and 740,000 tons of nickel. And obviously a lot more than that, millions of tons of manganese. If you're not aware of this, you might not be. Tesla has been working on utilizing manganese in its batteries to improve the energy density of its batteries. And I believe Elon Musk believes that's the biggest area where they can improve energy density of their battery packs. So that's something that uh, CATL, have been, or CATL have also been working on using manganese in LFP batteries. They actually call those batteries M3P batteries. And there's been a lot of videos, a lot of talk about these M3P batteries that Tesla have been working on. Apparently they, they were meant to be here this year. They might come next year, let's see. This site of mineral discovery is located around the Minami Torishima Island in Japan. And they've been looking into this since 2016, but a detailed survey, which began last year and finished in June of 2024 of this year, well, it confirmed exactly what was there. Researchers used mining equipment and remotely controlled underwater vehicles to carry out the probe at many spots on the seabed. Now it's very deep here. That's the big challenge. It's five kilometers deep, 5,200 meters to 5,700 meters or over three miles deep. According to the researchers, nodules like these form when iron and manganese oxides dissolve in seawater precipitate around their nuclei. The deposits contain copper as well, which is also extremely valuable in particular for the wiring in EVs and the wiring in charging cables. So copper is obviously maybe even more valuable in some ways than the minerals they've found that are in the nodules. This mineral discovery will give a huge boost to Japan's EV industry, but not just its EV industry, potentially also to its battery industry, which is, you know, it's 
probably a little better than what I've given it credit for. They do have, uh, of course, Panasonic. So it's not all doom and gloom when it comes to Japan's battery making. Now, Toyota does make batteries as well, but they're not great. Anyhow, the discovery will enable Japan to have enough minerals to support its battery manufacturers. But of course, it does need lithium. Um, primarily, Japan gets its lithium from China, but that lithium comes predominantly from Australia. The team of researchers comprised of non-profit Nippon Foundation and University of Tokyo will start extracting 2,500 tons of these nodules per day in an experimental project by the end of March 2026. So basically, they will start actually removing these um, nodules and begin, I guess, harvesting them in just over about, about a year and a half's time from now. And apparently they plan on commercial production of these nodules in 2026 as well. So what about the costs of extracting them? Well, the team say that they have confirmed um, the costs are not, they're not that expensive. They say the deposits are enough for commercial use, including extraction and refining costs. The nodules are concentrated and offer very good materials, said Yashihuro Kato, professor at the University of Tokyo. It seems like this, these kind of discoveries are happening, I wouldn't say regularly, but fairly often. I mean, there's some incredible discoveries being made. What I really like about this is the fact that these nodules, if you remove the nodules from the sea, it doesn't really affect the area that much. It's, it's not perfect ecologically, but it's certainly a lot better than mining for these minerals. It's a big improvement. That said, lithium ion phosphate batteries don't need nickel or cobalt. So they might be an even better solution. Thanks for watching.